In the far southwest of the Pacific Ocean lies Auckland. Home to some 1.5 million people, it is New Zealand's most populous city. Auckland is the perfect base from which to explore the scenic coastline and hidden coves of the diverse North Island. Nicknamed the City of Sails, Auckland has more boats per capita than anywhere else in the world. In this city, nestled between two big natural harbours, water is never far away. Auckland's biggest landmark is Rangitoto Island, which can be seen from all over the city. As the country's biggest city, Auckland has modern malls, spacious urban parks, and plenty of culture. Enjoy breakfast in the Elliott Stables, an old Renaissance-style warehouse, and then walk along nearby Queen Street. Then head out and explore the city's major attractions, Outside the central business district, visit the trendy shops and restaurants of Ponsonby, Auckland's hippest strip. Walk along the promenade of Mission Bay and enjoy this inner city beach. The most characteristic building on Auckland's waterfront is the Edwardian style ferry terminal. Head across the bay to nearby Devonport and enjoy a seafood lunch. You could spend days exploring the cosmopolitan streets and bays of Auckland, but its main attraction is found beyond the city limits. Unspoiled nature. Auckland's rugged coastline with dramatic cliffs and rolling hills is simply stunning. Drive to the native rainforest of the Waitakere Ranges to enjoy a treetop walk and see more of New Zealand's unique flora and fauna. This regional park is located just to the west of the city. Nearby, along the volcanic western coastline of the North Island, is Piha Beach. With Lion's Rock to the north, it's a famous spot for experienced surfers. Other west coast beaches are equally stunning, and no matter which one you pick, they are all good for building sandcastles, fishing, paddling, and long walks on the beach. Back in the city, head to the main public park called Auckland Domain to watch the locals play cricket. It's a great place to tune in to the laid-back lifestyle that is so typical for this remote island nation. In the stately Auckland War Memorial Museum, hear the story and see the treasures of Aotearoa, the land of the long white cloud, as the native Māori people call New Zealand. Their ancestors sailed here about a thousand years ago, and their fiercely proud culture is still very much alive today. Children will love the Auckland Zoo, where they can meet and treat the animals of the African savanna. Another great day out is Rainbow's End. Bounce into each other during fun rides, whirl around in the air, or get dumped in seconds. There are more thrills to be had downtown at the Sky Tower, where you can base jump at breathtaking speeds. If you'd rather just watch, ride to the observation platform to look straight down on Auckland Central Streets. Just before sunset, hike or drive to the top of Mount Eden, an inner city volcano to see the sparkling lights reveal some of the city's finest buildings. Auckland has countless riches, as the Māori already discovered many centuries ago. They called the area Tamaki Makaurau, meaning desired by a hundred men. The appeal is still there today, and the city's unique history, untouched nature, family-friendly attractions, and easy-going lifestyle make it a desired destination for millions of overseas visitors every year. Now my Tamaki Makaurau. Welcome to Auckland.
ready. Be inspired. Be courageous. Be great. Explore the world and share your discoveries. Find your passion in surprising places. Think differently. Challenge perspectives. Create, innovate, respond, and then adapt. Connect and influence. Be curious. Be critical. Ask questions. Find new solutions. Make waves. And get ready for the world. Kia ora. my name is Nigel Hemmington. Uh, I'm Pro Vice Chancellor Research, Enterprise and International here at AUT, Auckland, New Zealand. International is very important here at AUT. Uh, it is central to our mission as a university uh, and our goal to create great graduates. International at AUT is also very successful. We have been very highly ranked in the international rankings uh, for International Outlook. Uh, we are ranked number one in New Zealand for International Outlook uh, and number 27 in the world. And I have to say that the uh, work that we do with our colleagues and agencies around the world are central to us achieving those rankings. And of course, uh, agents are very fundamental to the work that we do, uh, both in terms of recruiting students uh, and raising our profile uh, in our key markets around the world. In 2020, we will also be looking at the way in which we work with agents and how we can support you, the agents, uh, in the work that you do. So working together in a much uh, closer uh, and integrated way, we believe that we can all benefit uh, from our success together. So please keep uh, your eyes on email, uh, digital communications, uh, to see the developments that we are moving forward with uh, in the near future. Uh, and certainly we would like to thank you for the support that you have given us uh, in recent years and we look forward to working much more closely with you uh, in the future into 2020 and well beyond that. So my project is about like looking at social media and celebrity worship and idolisation through social media. So looking at like religious history as a context to how we worship celebrities, the way we sort of worship saints in the past. I'm not trying to paint like religious paintings. I want it to be quite obviously different and modern. I wanted to pick something that everyone could relate to to like maybe make them think about the kind of culture that we're caught up in and how it's affecting us. The reason I got into the computer and mobile systems major is because technology keeps advancing and I wanted to be on top of that market. So my spinal sensor app project was used to find the angular displacement of the spinal cord movement for injury prevention purposes using wearable wireless sensor technologies. In the future, I hope that my degree will take me in the health sector where I could use my technical knowledge in order to do good things and help people.